When we're in the control room looking through the camera and trying to decide whether or not something should be sampled, there are a lot of things that we consider. The first is, have we seen this before? Do we have one of these already? If we do, quite often we will take good pictures, we will observe what, what is there, and we will leave it where it is living. If it is new, we will collect it because we want to determine what it is. And the best way to do that is with DNA sequences, with analysis of minerals in the laboratory, things that you can't do from, from a distance. We think very carefully about how much we need for these analyses. And so we always take the smallest possible sample so that we perturb the ecosystem as little as possible. So when the ROV comes back, there's a big rush out to the vehicle to uh, bring back the animals, to bring back the rocks, to bring back the microbes. And the first thing that we do with them is we take everything and we put it in the refrigerator to keep everything cold. And we preserve them for future study. Oh, the mood is so excited in the lab after we've collected our samples. It's not until we get them into the laboratory that we really know who these creatures are and how they're related to all the other creatures that we study. There's really no substitute to having samples to, to work with.